November 704 Alpha X-ray, we have a contact. Repeat, November 704 Alpha X-ray, we have a contact. Hey up everyone, welcome to Martin Lucas Investor. I'm Vaz, do you know what time it is? It's time to start talking EV tolls. And I've got very, very, very in interesting update from Archer Aviation on their fully piloted new VTOL aircraft. First of all, massive shout out to my friend Louis. You can see his account on the screen, his X account, and he was the first one to discover and highlight this. What is going on? Breaking Archer Aviation's human piloted, I love it, human piloted, EV toll November 704 Alpha X-ray emitted its first ever ADSB signal on October 21st, 2050 UTC, which is about two o'clock. Am I correct? Two o'clock local time in in San Jose, uh, warehouse at three six six zero Thomas Road in Santa Clara, California, and he correctly geolocated the position. Well, first of all, what is the ADSB? Well, let's let's just quickly explain what the ADSB stands for. It's Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast. It's a modern air traffic surveillance technology that lets aircraft automatically broadcast their position, speed, altitude and other data to air traffic controllers and nearby aircraft. Here's the breakdown of the name. Automatic, it transmits data automatically without pilot input. Dependent, it depends on the aircraft onboard GPS or GNSS for position data. Surveillance, it provides tracking information to others and broadcast in its sense this information out regularly to anyone equipped to receive, uh, to receive it. So next time you will hear reference to, to, the, to the ADSB, to ADSB data, you know what that means now. Why, why is it used? ADSB is used to replace or supplement traditional radar system offering more precise tracking than radar. Uh, it's obviously GPS based and it updates multiple times per second. So it's fairly accurate. Bro broader coverage. Uh, especially in areas without radar, better situational awareness for pilots, lower infrastructure cost. So there are two main components to the ADSB. We have out, the aircraft broadcast their position and info, and we have ADSB in. Aircraft can receive data from others and from ground stations. In short, ADSB is how modern aviation makes itself visible, is the foundation for next generation air traffic management and crucial enable for future EV toll and advanced air mobility operations. Well, I did literally this. I did literally this. I used the ADSB data to check it after Luis. Not that I need to check after him, but I wanted to do deeper research and deeper dive. So I did literally the same thing. I took the ADSB data from a flight tracker and you can see on the overlay where exactly the, helico the little helicopter on the screen, in the middle of the screen, where exactly the signal is coming from. So if I zoom in on, on Google Maps, we can see it's a warehouse. There is nothing even remotely related to Archer Aviation, manufacturing, composites, molding, uh, uh, telemetry, radio, whatever. The only place in this warehouse is SNG carpet and, and more in Santa Clara. You are welcome for the advertising. We have Michael Christensen photography and we have Paris baguette warehouse around in the units around. I couldn't see anything that would be even remotely related to put this in context. We've got Google street view. This is the very place. This is the carpet place to put this into further context. We also have the location here, this warehouse, and it's about 10 minutes away from the Archer Aviation headquarters. Very interesting, very interesting. So what does it mean? Currently, it means nothing. However, once we know more, once we have more fractions of this information and we start putting everything into context, it's, this could be very valuable piece of information. We know the Dubai Air Show, the Dubai Air Show, the biggest event, the biggest eVTOL event of the year is coming. And we are about four weeks away. Archer are in the do or die position. They either fly fully VTOL piloted or they fly their CTOL, November 703 Alpha X-ray. 
they might be under a bit of pressure because most of the eVTOL manufacturers will be flying their demo flights in fully VTOL. Archer probably won't. And if they won't, they might, they might be a bit of a cool off of, of the optimism around Archer. We've been getting some partial informations about delays and I'll be talking about this tomorrow. So join me tomorrow afternoon. I'll be talking about Archer, about the recent news, about the development. We should have some more updates on this as well. I'll be talking about the delays. For now, this could be a very good sign, but also this could mean nothing, completely nothing. This could be just a random signal occurring in the middle of nowhere. So stand by for more context. Uh, definitely, definitely we need to put this together with more information. Archer Aviation have about a week or two. Very, very, cutting it very, very fine. If they want to fly in Dubai, we have about, they have about a week or two to get out their aircraft, make it airworthy, fly it, at least few flights, get it to Dubai, make it airworthy in Dubai, and fly it in there on the Dubai Air Show. So the clock is ticking and this could be a good indicator. But again, could mean nothing. I just wanted to get, bring this to you as a hot update. Let's look out for more. Tomorrow afternoon, join me for an Archer special. I'll be talking about their delays, about their deadlines, about the coming milestones and about the news coming out recently. That's it from me. Thank you for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other.